Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic which is economic importance of gymnosperm. As we know that economically the gymnosperm is a very important group of plants. They can be used mainly for timber, resin, turpentine oil and also we can extract it different chemical compounds or different chemical substances from this group of plants and these chemical compounds are mainly used for medicinal purposes, for perfumes, for varnishes. Here are the one is timber we can use in paper industry used as medicinal purposes perfumes these are main use of gymnosperm various now first of all we came timber various species of gymnosperm are a good source of wood why we used gymnosperm as timber because gymnosperm plus wood has some good characteristic properties first of all wood is very light or hard they are strong or soft they are straight grained they are durable and good uh, wood gets good paint and it takes good finish also so characteristic features are strong durable so these are the main characteristic feature of gymnosperms wood that's why we used them as timber now sources of What are the sources of timber? Various genus and various species of this genus of gymnosperm are used as main source of timber. Such genuses are pinus, cedras, abyss, agathis, aracaria, coprosis, juniperus. These are the main source of timber. Now, first of all, we came to pine, which is also known as cheer pine. So, in cheer pine, Pinus roxbargi, Pinus sylvestris, Pinus walichiana, these are the main species which we can use as timber. Now, what are the uses of this? Uses are good quality of timber. We can get here 
so we can get from uh, this timber cheap furniture wooden frames and in case of packing cases now cedar wood we can obtain it from cedrus cedar wood is obtained from cedrus cedrus deodora this is the strongest indian timber cedar wood is the strongest indian timber and what are the uses of it it mainly uses in railway sleepers doors window panes boat and furniture now in case of douglas fir Douglas fir is mainly used in veneers and plywood. Timber obtained used in marketing. They are also used for construction work. Now, other timber yielding plants are sequoia, taxidium, agathis, and podocarpus. These are all other timber yielding plants. So, if we uh, discuss about timber yielding plants, these are all first of all pine which is known as cheer pine cedar wood douglas fir now in case of ornamental plants so different kinds of gymnosperm or different genesis are used as ornamental plants in uh, parks gardens religious buildings around the tombs and what are the plants these are ornamental plants are pine, cedar, fir, juniperus, spruce. these are all ornamental plants why they are used as ornamental plants because of their symmetrical growth and evergreen habit other ornamental plants are cycas orecaria podocarpus thuja these are also ornamental plants used as food one of the most important item which is known as sagu from this sagu different kinds of food item can be prepared and this sagu is obtained from cycas jamia and macrosamia So, as we say, uh, sagu. Sagu is one of the most important food item, which we can obtain from cycas. Zamia, macrozamia. So, these are the plants from which we can get sagu another uses of so seeds of cycas species pinus different kinds of uh, arocaria gingo biloba are edible because they contain a very important 
carbohydrate which is known as starch so Okay, so starch is obtained from seeds of defined gymnosperm. One is cycas species of pinus, gingo biloba, so these are the plants from seeds of them we can get starch now young unfolded succulent leaves and tender shoots of cycas different species of cycas that is cycas sarsinalis cycas spectinata cycas rumpi and cycas siamensis are eaten as cooked food in indonesia philippines and Indian Peninsula. So, here we see that young leaves are cooked. Different species of Cycas. Okay, so different species of cycas, le young leaves and shoots are edible, which are cooked as in Indonesia, Philippines, and Indian Peninsula. Now, medicinal purposes. So, different chemical substances extracted from gymnosperm and these chemical substances are used as medicinal purpose. So, what are the use? Leaves of jingo use as for heart treatment, for lung, use of Texas, so Texas is mainly used in asthma, bronchitis disease, epilepsy. Now, cupressus. These have vermifuge properties.
So, cycas mainly seeds of cycas which are used in stomach problem. vomiting problem okay so these are the four genus which are mainly used for this disease jingo for heart treatment and for lungs taxes asthma epilepsy cupressus vermifuge have vermifuge properties cycas has uh, used mainly used in stomach problem vomiting problem Okay, next, other medicinal uses. One very important compound, epidrine. Epidrine is one very important compound uh, it is obtained from ephedra used for bronchial asthma okay another um, another trichotin uh, jingolate compound from leaves of gingo biloba which is used in uh, platelet counting or platelet activating factor This one is very important compound because Taxol is used as anti-cancerous compound. Okay, so from where Taxol obtained, it is obtained from Texas Brevifolia. So, um, Taxol is an anti-cancerous compound and it is used for ovarian cancer. Breast cancer. and in colon cancer. So, Taxel obtained from Texas Brevifolia is used in ovarian, ovarian cancer, breast cancer and colon cancer. Now, another important compound which is resin. Resin are um, coniferous exudates which are soluble in only in inorganic solvent that is ether, ethanol, etc. There are mainly two types of resins. So, two types of resin obtained from gymnosperm, one is uh, superior grade resin, another is inferior grade resin and these resins are used in varnishes, in uh, plaster and enamels which is one of the most important component of our teeth in case of uh, paper sizing. Now another various types of resins are.
these two are main types but also another types are also present turpentine oil canada balsam amber copal So these are also some types of resins that is turpentine oil, canada balsam, amber, copal, sandrac, etc. First of all, copals. Copal is two types of copal. Cauricopal and Manila Copal. Cauricopal and Manila Copal. These are two main types of copal. Cauricopal obtained from Agathis Australis. And Manila Copal obtained from Agathis Alba. So, what are the uses? Mainly uses, main uses of copals are in, in Varnish property, varnish purpose, plastics, paint. So, copals are used in these cases. They have varnish properties so we can use for varnish and plastics and for paint also in the production of enamel now sand rock This is uh, pale yellow or orange colored hard resin which uh, contain 1% of volatile oil and it is obtained from calicris. It is pale pale yellow or orange It contains one percent volatile oil. Source source is calitris. So this is also used in uh, metal varnishes, paper varnishes, and in leather varnishes. Okay, so sand rock is used in uh, varnish and cementing glass. Now, 
one another important compound is canada balsam Canada balsam is transparent resin. Um, this is obtained from Abyss balsamia. Canada balsam obtained from Abyss balsamia. And what are the uses? In the laboratory, when we uh, prepare permanent slide, we need to mount these slides. And Canada balsam is that important compound which used for mounting. And essential oil and fatty. Mainly these are essential oil and fatty oil are first of spruce oil. Uh, spruce oil obtained from Picea abyss. This uh, spruce oil use as spraying spraying agent bath salts and siberian farm needle oil Siberian fundamental oil obtained from Abyss Siberica and third one is cedar oil. Cedar oil obtained from cedrus and So these are the three important essential oil or fatty oil. One is first one is spruce oil which is obtained from Picea avis. Second one is Siberian farm Siberian farm needle oil obtained from Abyss Siberica and third one is cedar oil which is obtained from cedrus and juniperus. Saving soaps. So, Siberian fundamental oil uses uh, saving soaps, room spray, cedar oil, which is used for
for oil immersion for microscopic study. So these are the essential oil and these are their use. Next one. Turpentine oil. Turpentine oil. from species of turpentine oil obtained from species of spinous and use painting rosin another compound which also obtained from pinus used in So, turpentine oil obtained from pinus, rosin also obtained from species of pinus. Turpentine oil used for mainly for painting purposes and rosin uses for paper sizing, varnishes and uh, from, uh, for printer ink. Another important uh, use of timber of gymnosperm is uh, paper uh, paper industry in paper industry. These are the genus of gymnosperm which yield good paper pulp and from this paper pulp we can produce paper which is used in paper industry. Now tannins. Obtained from tannin sources, uh, Picea, Alba, Suga, so tannins obtained from Picea, Alba, Suga and uh, tannin used for leather industry in dye industry. So uh, finally we can conclude that, that Gymnosperms are very important group of plants. They are economically very important. As we are, uh, discussed earlier that main source of Indian timber or good quality of timber we can find from different species of gymnosperm. We can also obtain tannins. We can, uh, they are used in uh, paper industry. They are used for medicinal purposes. We can uh, obtain different kinds of resins, rosins, which also have some uh, economically important.
these are the references and thanks